so now let's add a repository uh, that will um, give us response um, with a delay i am not calling actual network calls so this can be a bummer for you but this is a beginner course and i don't want to put many things in just one course obviously i have created a movie app series where i have made all the ne ne network calls and if you want to learn specifically network calls you can easily go there and check out that episode uh, i will link that episode in the description you can check that out but let's see let's just understand as a beginner or as a starter in a flutter if you want some apis response what you will do in your code to get that response and uh, use it in your projects right so let's just do that first of all let's add a directory and uh, of course whenever we do this thing let's add a repository dot file so that we expose everything from here and before we do that let's add another event repository file so this will make actual api calls to your server and bring in the data but as of now we will just uh, use the mock system okay so class event repository and then of, of course you will use injectable here because you want it to be see this injectable creates a factory constr factory um, you know, constructor it's not singleton if you want ha to have factory uh then uh, factory get it dependency then this will be that one so because we also want it to be disposed of and ideally it can be a singleton thing but uh, you want it to be disposed also because many times you might not make api calls or you might not need this event repository some other repository you might need so for that you can have it like this uh, we will add a, uh, a delay a hard coded delay as of now Let's say that delay is of uh, two, uh, two seconds duration. Uh, let's create a function uh, that will return list of event. Now before doing anything here, I will just make sure that my models are, uh, you know, uh, imported here because now, so now I don't need event uh, from, you know, from features. Uh, my, my models, my mocks, will be in the repository so i will fetch it from there so whatever the model folder was there uh, from event list we will just copy this and put it here of course many imports will be disturbed and uh, we will have to delete it from here uh, let's fix them uh, one by one so let's say uh, okay now this home repository won't be exporting it great event list and in the repository we will be exporting two things one will be the event repository itself and other would be the model slash event and export model slash uh, no mocks will not be exported what else we have speaker i think speaker will also be not exported so let's leave it as it is once we have this repository dot dot uh, we will have uh, in the event list we will remove this and remove this and this this is everything which is not required and we will fetch it okay we don't have to do this now because we will be fetching from repository we won't be fetching from mocks so let's first do this thing future list of events this will be returned uh, by this function and uh, we can filter them based on category so we will be introducing category switching as well in this video when I click art, it will be showing me art category, art events and things like that. Okay, so let's first import it from this one. Oh no, when you are importing it within the folder itself, you can do it like this. And then insert this get events function. We will be using future. If there is only one line that is being returned, you can use fat arrow future dot delayed so we will add the delay here and what will be the execution what will be our function that will be executed after this delay it will be checking that if category is null okay 
then uh, return all events basically all the mock events yes and if it's not like that then do a filter basically events dot when uh, that where uh, each element will be a event and we'll be comparing event dot category sorry it's okay got it event dot category mock is imported what is this type of event dynamic why um it's not being imported properly then yeah this uh, it's important final events oh fine fine so this is a this this models are also interrelated so let's first fix them uh, let's remove this and let's try to import speaker uh, let's try to import these as well so basically uh, remove all the unwanted imports and import event and of course import speaker so mock and event files are rectified now it understands what is the event and now it understands that event is the event type and now we can see event dot oh sorry categories are also not there in the event so let's first add categories quickly okay great so what we'll do is uh, we'll add required a list of string and categories great uh, go to your mock and add some categories let's say uh, this is a uh, domain driven so let's add domain as one category uh, which eventually we don't have here so let's add domain also as one of the categories Also, remember, for movies, we don't have anything, right? So we will see how the UI responds when you don't have any any event. So we'll see that as well. Uh, here as well, we will just have tech. So our mock is ready. And now we have categories. Inside this category, uh, sorry, event dot categories uh, dot contains, uh, we will see if the supplied category is contained in this categories or not. And then we will convert this response to list, which will be returned from this. If category is not supplied, then all events will be returned. If category is supplied, then only those events will be returned that fall under that category. So yes, repository is done. Uh, there is a delay, of course. In navigation, yes, there will be a problem because um, event is being transferred to something else. Let's import that. Uh, from repository let's do the simple imports first finish off the simple imports first uh, wherever the event is used um, let's import this from repository event category and there is one error here event dot present table date uh, great I have removed the extension okay then event list uh, we won't fix this we will see because we will be using future builder so let's go to event category categories uh, will be fetched from mock of course categories will be fetched from mock and what was the import yeah so this is coming from wrong import and even um, because we then need to supply mocks as well uh, we need to export mocks as well from here so let's export them and we will make sure that we use it only for categories of course you can have category repository also and do it um category no not like this what is the problem model mock if i am exporting it from here i should be able to import it directly uh, with the help of repositories why not why i'm not able to do that um we'll just use repository dot dot yeah, I'm able to do that as well. Great. Uh, we will go to event detail and fix all of these things. Just one thing that we need to fix is we need to import event from proper place. And then we will see 
um, how we use uh, you know fake mock API call to reflect the UI. Okay, yeah, because this is being coming, uh, this is coming from home. We need to also export repository so that it understands the event, right? And the error is gone from here. Great. Now coming to the uh, events list. This is the only last uh, thing that is remaining uh, to make it work. Great. So we will be wrapping this in a future builder. Wrap with the builder and uh, just change it to future builder. This will be accepting a future. What is that future? So basically event repository dot get events is the future. Okay. And for that, uh, we will need to get the instance of event repository here. This is not right. I will show state management later. So, but till then you will have to uh, just fetch the repository here. Get it, get it event repository dot get events and then um, whatever the category is so for now let's say all just hard code it uh, for now and here it will be a snapshot of async type what we can do here is if snapshot is a snapshot has data then we do this stuff so basically we show the list view so everything here will be wrapped in a curly bracket okay and if if this is not the case we will simply return a circular progress indicator i will show you many things in future we will not always use circular progress indicator because that's also not good uh, to use it if a snapshot has data, then this. Otherwise, let's add else statement. Or maybe I made a mistake. Probably it should not be here. It should be after this. Yep. So we will return this. And that's it. Events.length. From where we will get this event? From We will get from a snapshot. So let's fetch events from the snapshot. Events snapshot dot data so you see this data is type of list of event which can be null and why so every data inside a snapshot can be nullable it can come as null from server let's make sure that it's uh, uh, not always null if events is equal to equal to null or um, if events is empty then we will return another thing right we will say that uh, it would be a centered text um, with saying that no events uh, nearby no events nearby and uh, we can say to user please check later right so and we will apply const here and we will also apply some theming to it we go to text and before after body small let's add label medium yeah let's leave it as it is it's just a label so we have done that if events are not there which is case of movies then it won't it it will return no events nearby if events are there it will return list view and while loading it will just show us circular progress indicator so let's see if that is all okay we don't need question mark here because now events is converted to non -null, um sorry it might already understand that we have checked for events equal to equal to null and compiler knows that at this time this event will not be null so this is sound null safety um, let's rerun this application and uh, what we are doing here 
is we are fetching all from here okay great i knew this will come uh, because we have get it we are trying to fetch it fetch from get it but do we have this as a dependency so let's cross check uh, we have event repository as a dependency yeah it should be working what it says not registered factory with type event repository is not registered inside get it it's wrong let me restart the application because we ran it in watch mode so we didn't need to actually tell uh, that we need to you know uh, rerun that event repository uh, for event repository so that's fine so this is the benefit of running it in watch mode you sometimes might forget it but still uh, it will work for you okay great this weird circular progress indicator that everyone sees for the first time they implement this so nothing different in my case as well i this i i uh, deliberately did this so that i can share this information but ideally what you want to do in most of the scenarios is use center here and wrap it in the uh, center widget and just reload the application it will show a circular process indicator for two seconds and then show that there are no events nearby and this is a problem we have set all and it says no events nearby in this case what we can do is we can go to our repository and make amendments to it if category is equal to equal to null or category is equal to equal to all if that is the case then you give me all the events and this time it will give me all the events generally when you make real api calls this only happens except that your events are coming in a json format so this is done fetching from events um, based on categories is done but let's check it out whether it's really working for categories or not uh, if i have art here will it make it work let's reload the application because we want to refetch from the uh, future and this time i have only one thing if i have movies you have already seen the response uh, it will say uh, that there are no events nearby please check later so that's a good uh, we have everything covered all the list a circular progress indicator a single item a no item right so what else we need to attach this category with event list and how we can do that uh, so based on this click event we will need to update our ui basically so the first thing that you generally do in this case is a state management this is called a state management that if you click on art your art should be selected on the go until now we have not started state management we can simply go with set state but that's not preferred way and because our whole app or whole ui refreshes uh, because of set state uh, the way we use it uh, we want everything to refresh like i click on art i want that art should be selected and together with that i want that my events should be fetched and um, all of this is done using set state if you want to do if you want to start uh, but i will take a different approach i will use um, another widget called value listenable builder uh, that basically works on value notifiers so uh, there will be uh, one value notifier which we will create in event list page so let's go to that in event list page let's make it stateful uh, there is a reason uh, uh, to create it as a stateful let's declare a value notifier it would be of uh, string type because we will be storing uh, category there so category notifier and in the init state a normal function um init state we will just write uh, category notifier um, equals to some category notifier right uh, value notifier we will initialize it with some value and that will be uh, categories zero okay and of course for that we will be fetching again the repository not this one 
uh, why it doesn't export the complete repository i don't understand but yeah uh, this is the category notifier and in dispose and this is the reason i used set state whenever you have something that can be disposed and take the responsibility of disposing these things um, in the page itself we are creating this now this page has everything this page has search box this page has sized box and this page has category expanded and everything right so we want to play with event category and expanded right so let's wrap this in value notifier builder value listenable builder sorry and uh, what will be the builder for this let's specify that the builder will be category notifier okay so builder is not the way value listenable is the way uh, we just need to specify category notifier here and now this value uh, and this will also have a builder uh, this will have a builder not child uh, the second parameter of this builder is t which means the value itself so let's say category category is that value whatever selected category whatever latest value of category will be it will be stored in underscore category variable and for now we don't have any child uh, just leave it as it is because uh, see builder's job is to rebuild the ui there is nothing other than event category that we want to rebuild right so we will just put uh, event category return from uh, here and we won't have child child you need when there is some static part that belongs to your value listener builder that will never change when you change the category okay so this is how it should look like and why it's giving me error okay um evaluation okay const fine uh, this const are good actually when you specify const in your widget tree uh, the widget, widgets are not rebuilt uh, if all the widgets are rebuilding and it's const its value is not changed it will not rebuild so that's very nice so active category instead of all we can have the category itself right and we also need to pass a function uh, on category selected this we will add in the category widget so if category is selected it should return me a category which is selected and that category i will update that category i will update in my uh, category notifier dot value i will assign that new category uh, sorry not this one make sure to have this one i will assign this category there so this is what i will want to do when i uh, get the category which is selected suppose i select art so this function will return me art and that art will be assigned to category notifier so what are we waiting for let's add on category selected as a function here and let's make it let's use this here okay and final great so it looks good what we uh, this type is a string we didn't specify the type here so editor did not know that it's of a string type we'll call this um, on category selected when we click on this item so we will go to event category item and add on tapable uh, here right so let's pass in this function to event category item so in the on tab we can simply say on event oh, okay on category selected uh, actually we should be doing like this so on category selected and what will be the category that we need to pass to it and that would be categories dot uh, categories index so whatever the item has the category right it, it builds on the builder itself so let's declare this function on tab and uh, remove this use this and final void callback on tap that's it great uh, now we need to call this function in on tap so we can do like this okay we need to call this as well so what else um, we can easily now what is the error here null can't be assigned to a parameter type of dynamic 
function string. Uh, who is null here? Category notify dot value category. Who is null? Oh, const. See, <laughs> const. Const is uh, sometimes irritating, but it's beneficial for your app performance. We can't deny that. Great. So, what will happen now? Let's restart the application. Let's see if it switches, right? I will click on art. Great, it is switching. I click on tech, design, and, and you see this? This is one of the um, refactoring that we have to do now. When I click on tech, it's completely, you know, square, uh, rectangle. And when I uh, see there is some uh, edges, there are some edges to it. So to get rid of that, uh, we will go to our event category item and here in the box in the container there is a box decoration what we will do is we will add border radius to our inkwell also and that border radius will be same that we provided to the um, box decoration let's run this and now when i click on it it's a curve correct so to inkwell as well you can apply and it is taking too much time because there is a duration of 1000 milliseconds. Let, let's add it 300 milliseconds. And now when I switch, it's fast, it's good. What else? So in the event list page, this value listenable notif builder is working fine. So why not let's leverage this to wrap our expanded widget as well in um, the builder, right? So we will be using same value listenable builder and we will be using same value listenable and the value will be category and uh, the child will be nothing. Then we will be returning expanded of course, uh, but we will be passing category to it. Let's say that, All right? Let's pass category to it. Uh, let's add category to it, add name category. Uh, replace it with this and final okay um, what will happen it will simply um, run the future builder maybe because it will refresh this and let's see if that works whenever category notifier rebuilds this one it will send the category and rebuild the UI for us let's see that oh we have not used category here. We are only searching with this. So let's say category. So this was a change that was required here. Let's reload this application. And now if I select art, uh, there is something going on probably. Yeah, there's something going on. And you know what? This is what is the problem when you are not using proper state management tool. I am using value notifier, future builder, and is okay. But why it's not showing loader? Because it doesn't know that I am doing something else. And to manage that, I will have to have another value listenable, which says that, oh, I am loading. That is loading will be supplied to event list. And that is loading will eventually make, um, show us the circular progress indicator which is you know um, having too many value listenable builders will anyway make your code ugly so we will move to a uh, state management technique uh, in the next uh, chapter i wanted to show that yeah we can switch between uh, this events based on category and we will see that uh, we can see we can see any type of result uh, by just simply switching right so this looks great uh, but it lacks having a proper state management solution